This week in MMA, Junior Dos Santos beat Ben Rothwell by decision, failed drug tests galore, and the death of Joao Cavallo. After testing positive for steroids in his last fight, Kimbo Slice complained that the commission shouldn't punish fighters for using some extra vitamins, stating that he's an entertainer and performs on a high level. Just for reference, this was his last fight. And Kimbo looks gassed. Come on, work. You ask him about the training he received. He's Stop. mysterious Stop. about it. Maybe he should get a refund on those steroids. Fans with cell phones up, standing. This fight has captured their imagination. Uel Romero reduced his suspension to six months after testing positive for PEDs. The cause of the failed test was revealed to be a tainted supplement he was taking. This was verified by USADA, the U.S. anti-doping agency. Frank Mir also failed a USADA drug test for PEDs after his loss to Mark Hunt at UFC Fight Night. John Jones was released from jail and is now required to hire a full-time driver. Won't let anybody step my joy. Champion 2016. BJ Penn is coming out of retirement to fight Dennis Seaver at UFC 199. Hall of Famers Chuck Liddell and Forrest Griffin are coaching The Ultimate Fighter Latin America Season 3. Joao Cavallo, a Portuguese fighter, died following a third round TKO loss on April 9th. Carvalho seemed fine after the fight but quickly started showing symptoms of severe head trauma after complaining of headaches and nausea. He was taken to the hospital and underwent brain surgery. Unfortunately, Carvalho passed away Monday night. The Irish Pancration Association has set up a GoFundMe campaign to help his family cover funeral costs. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.